What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? World's gone crazy. All right, we're in a state of chaos. Elections, less than 40 days. No one knows what's going to happen. This one's a toss-up. Uh, war is breaking out everywhere. And we got people like this lady here um, who are... She's a self-proclaimed female Planned Parenthood pastor. And she was filmed praising uh abortions pretty much she aborted two of her own babies unfortunately it's a sad case and she is a supporter of planned parenthood she wore uh, their scar to represent her support so she wore the baby's scar um and she's claiming that she felt god's presence when she made the decision to end two of her pregnancies let's go ahead and play abortion. the clip, man. i'm not Make even gonna really comment too much on this guys because you know abortion make them stop Talking about abortion makes many people profoundly uncomfortable. At dinner parties, in polite conversation with friends and family, and too often in church. Despite many people's profound discomfort with abortion, images, messaging, and moralizing about abortion are ubiquitous in our culture. Talking fetuses, aggressive bumper stickers, and saccharine billboards quoting scripture, and invoking God's wrath. Pave our streets and plaster our highways. Politicians stump on the issue, and state legislatures spent the last 50 years working to control, regulate, and ultimately overturn Roe v. Wade. Their success was our failure. In the abortion imaginary, all people of faith are against abortion. This imaginary has colonized our minds, traumatizing many people with its toxic theology and shaping a culture of stigma and shame that has silenced millions of women and people who have had abortions, erasing their voices, their stories, and their witness from the public sphere. As a child of God, I can certainly appreciate the lyrical beauty of this text, as well as the descriptions in Jeremiah and Job of their certain knowledge that God was with them in the womb. I, too, feel that I am known by God in these ways. As a woman who has borne two children, I can affirm that I felt something sacred happening in my gestating body during those pregnancies. I can also attest that I felt God's presence with me as I made the decision to end two pregnancies. And I felt no guilt, no shame, no sin. While the liminal space of my womb and all fertile wombs represents the possibility of creating new life, if pregnancy and gestation are to remain holy mysteries, they require cooperation. A forced pregnancy or birth is not holy. I cannot fathom a God who would imagine otherwise all right guys so there you have it man that's the plan parenthood pastor uh just want to send a message out to you guys man keep god close uh keep keep god close and attend your churches and sundays or whatever religion you practice because uh people have just uh, again i'm gonna just leave it at that man uh sheesh let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about this i'm, I'm not even gonna address this